Season to the Universe fans, it's the one and only Octobotomus coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the absolutely incredible support of all of my Octobotomus Plus channel members, and even those of you that are just hitting that thumbs up button, we're going to be taking a look at the new Masters of the Universe Origins Fisto, the heroic hand-to-hand -hand fighter himself, finally makes his way to us in the origin line. And this was one I was excited about. I mean, Merman, you know, is cool, but you know, we already got a Merman. Evelyn, same thing. We already got an Evelyn. So in this wave, I was mostly looking forward to this guy and Faker. And I think he uh, really turned out great. For the package, much like all of them, you have that nice Masters of the Universe logo with the, uh, the rocks blasting through there. Uh, obviously, modern posing, retro play. You have the clear blister right here with the little dimple, new for uh, 2021. You got the mini comic in the back. Come around to the back of the package. Absolutely gorgeous art. I love it. And you can see yeah, Fisto fighting, but I don't remember that guy's name. I'm completely drawing a blank on it. I was much more aware of Fisto than him. So that's difficult, but you see, uh, you got like the, what is that, the, called the Strider, I think it was called? A lot of times we get these little teases in the art for figures that are going to be coming out in the near future, and that would be cool to get. I would really love that. Uh, but then you have the, the cross out with the different figures. You can uh, fit his sword in his hand, and you can twist his uh, body and everything. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the vintage one had a spring-loaded thing in there, so you would twist it, and then psh, it would spring back, and he would punch things. I don't necessarily think that he has that, which could be a little bit disappointing, but you know, all in all, I'm still happy with him. I think he looks really cool, but for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we have Fisto opened up and out of his packaging. And Fisto was always, I don't know, just, just kind of a cool character. Maybe it was because I always liked robots and things like that, and he seemed to have, like, a cybernetic arm. I don't think it was really ever revealed if that was just a metal fist that slid over his arm or if that was actually cybernetic. I think in the uh, 2000X series, they did reveal that it was actually a cybernetic implant, but they never really talked about that too much in the original vintage line. But he was always an interesting character. Uh, originally starting out as a bad guy, kind of terrorized uh, some people in the force and things like that until He-Man came around and said, hey, 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 you don't do that. That's not a nice thing to do. And then Skeletor, with his just floating head, he could, ah, you should do all the bad stuff. Ah! <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what that's all about. But either way, really fun uh, character and figure. Uh, now, obviously, he does come with his uh, very familiar weapon. You can see that's got like this little eye looking thing. It's just done in this purple plastic, is what it is. It doesn't store anywhere, so he always does have to hold it. But I always find it funny that. He needs to come with a sword when he's got a giant fist made out of metal. It, it's weird to me. Now, as you can see, you can have him in that more uh, vintage sort of pose where the legs are going to be squat like that. But uh, I like keeping them upright. And there you go. Now, as I talked about, in the original vintage line, he did have a spring-loaded thing here. It's really unfortunate, but as part of... Um, I'm just going to rip them apart... Part of this whole play feature is they don't really have that in there. So that's a little unfortunate. Or by adding that articulation, you take out that play feature, I should say. So that stinks because you could bring it around and ping, it would spring back. Same thing with the arm, actually. And I totally forgot this, but you could bring it back and it would spring up. But by having that extra articulation in here, you lose out on that. I, I almost would have preferred them leaving that play feature in because it was a very iconic part about this toy it doesn't ruin the figure or anything and honestly i mean i'm just gonna have him standing there so maybe not that leaning forward but he's just gonna be standing there so you know play features are nice but it's mostly a nostalgic kind of thing and it's fun just to kind of spring them around but i'm just gonna have him standing there in my display so it looks perfectly fine uh, you do get this nice chest armor. Uh, I believe that this is the first time that we've seen this, but uh, it is a softer, rubbery material. You can see that it is one piece, and it just will slide over his head. But you got, like, He-Man's body underneath there. You have He-Man's arm. Let's get that right on there. 
you got He-Man's arm on one side and a different one on the other one. And I don't think that you can really pull this out. That's going to be stuck there for good. But um, I am now having difficulty reattaching. I also, th if I remember correctly, the vintage one, uh, the armor was like a hard plastic. So it was kind of a pain in the butt and was prone to uh, breaking these little tabs. So there's a... Uh, there's that, I guess. Really fun. So ball joint there. The uh, the shoulders have that same range of motion. Everything's the same on this arm as well. You just don't have the wrist articulation. Waist, hips, all of that is there. But uh, there you go, guys. There is your look at the new Masters of the Universe Origins. Fisto, the heroic punching dude. Uh, I love him. I, 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 I don't know what it is. Maybe it is just that uh, throwback to that action feature kind of thing. It was just fun. But uh, there's your look at them. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, I know it's not a Transformer review, but watching videos like this really do help things out with all the other reviews that I do. And hey, it's, it's just fun for me just to kind of play around. So if you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. As I said, that one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really very much appreciate it. And finally, guys, remember... That the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.